Hello and welcome to ITM. In this video, I'm going to show you how to extend the logical partition in case if you have some unallocated space sitting on the right hand side of that partition. So two basic ways are available. You cannot do this extension using the graphical user interface that is disk management. We have only two options available. You can do it from the command utility that is disk part. And the second option is you can use any third party partitioning utility. So I'm going to first of all show you how to create that kind of partition and then I'm going to show you how to extend that partition. So first of all, let's right click on the start button and then I can click on disk management. And over here you can see that I have only two partitions and this you can see this style is set to MBR. So in this case I have two primary partitions. I'm going to shrink it, shrink the volume. So I say one zero two four. So I create I shrink by one gigs and then further I create a one volume over here. And then I further shrink twenty gigs. And now you can see that if I create a simple volume, by default it's gonna create as the primary is the extended partition. And inside that extended partition, what you are having is the logical partition. So in case if you had some partition over here and you deleted that, so if I simply say delete volume from here. And now you can say if I want to use this space and I want to expand this one to have more space over here, if I right click, and you can see we are not getting any option for extending the volume. So the only option is you just whatever content you have, you move to some other partition, delete that and then create new partition and then uh, move that content back to that drive. So in case if you have some content sitting and you want to expand this partition or extend the partition of volume E, then you have two options. You do it from command line utility or you use some partitioning tool. So I'm going to show you first of all using uh, command prompt. So just you need to go to command. So type in command, right click, run as administrator. So you need to have elevated to just command. So I'll just move it to the right and move this thing on the to left. And then I'm going to go on to this part that is disk partitioning utility. So I can say list disk. So I can see that we have only one disk, disk zero. So first of all, I need to select the disk. So select disk zero. I'm just typing first three letters. You can type complete words also. So select disk and now you can see that I have selected now I can say list the partitions inside this now I can see all the partitions so we have partition number one and two that is primary. The third partition that creates the extended partition the number is zero and within that you can have any number of logical partitions. So what I need to do is I need to select this partition partition number four and then I need to say extend. So I say select partition four. And then if I say ext for extend and I press enter key and you can see that got extended without any tool. So this is the way how you can extend the partition. So now I'm going to show you how to do it from the graphical user interface, the need third party partitioning utility. So I'll just delete this volume, this partition. So now if I extend this, extend the volume. And then I'm going to shrink it further, shrink the volume by 1 gig and let's create the partition and then I'm going to further shrink the volume to 0480 that is 20 gigs and then I'll be creating a partition that will be the logical partition within that logical partition you're going to find the um, we're, we're going to create the extended partition within that extended partition you have the logical partition so now i'll just close this and i'm going to show you this is as partition master this freely available you can go to is and you can download the free version so i'll just run that application you need to have with elevated privileges and now let's say if I delete this, select, press delete key or you can delete from here. And now you can see that I have, let's apply this.
Okay, so now you can see that I have this space over here that is a logical partition on the right hand side we have an allocated space and I want to extend this so just select that logical partition and then we have this button over here resize or move just go ahead and click on that and then you can see just move the mouse over to the, the disk over here or circle just click and drag to the right and then click on OK so you can see now we have completely used that just click on execute the operation and apply and then this way we have extended our partition okay so these volumes are empty so it's not taking much time but if you have some content over there it's gonna take some time so you can see when I come back over here you can see that got extended so this is how we can extend the partition using the command library that is this part or using some third-party utility so hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video